Hi everybody. Do you ever feel lonely and want to connect with people online without ha them having to know who you are so that you could have a very neutral conversation with them? Out of loneliness? Well, there's an app called Soul. And this is my two-week review on this app called Soul. Do you remember in the old days when we had this thing called the IRC, the Internet Relay Chat? where you go into chat rooms and then you meet people you don't know and you know, kick up a conversation with someone you don't know and get to experience the whole new friendship kind of thing, discovery. But then later on, we kind of lost that with things like MSN Messenger or even uh -oh. with ICQ. And later on, it became messages that we chat with people we knew. And then we had friends too, where we could actually meet people randomly and get to know people and again, enjoy the uh, experience of actually making new friends and discovery. But, you know, social media became an interactive platform for everyone and slowly became a media for consumption. I mean, look at Facebook. It started off that way, but then eventually it became a, con a platform for consuming media. Likewise, it got even worse with YouTube and now TikTok with everything condensed and compressed into 30 seconds. You spend most of your time consuming media and not really... We've kind of lost that human connection. You know? And I've been looking around for apps. I mean, especially now with the lockdown and everything, people are starting to feel a bit more lonely because being cooped up at home and all that. Well, so then came this app called Soul, which was actually advertised as an intelligent uh, uses AI to match people's profiles or personalities with other people which they think could be on the same frequency or maybe to be friends. Introduced in China in 2016, it was only until recently that they decided to take this app on a global stage and that's why now we find more people actually outside of China starting to adopt this app. So what is this app? So what happened was I started off using uh, Soul about a couple of weeks back. I registered my own profile and then I had to go through a few questionnaires about my personality, my interests. And after filling that up, well, the result was quite interesting. We got people who are actually defined as advocates. And in my case, I was actually classed as a, a witch. Could I be a witcher? Mm. The first thing you'll be greeted by is a globe. And this globe is called a planet eye or something like that, which is where you actually see different profiles on a globe that rotates that actually shows how well a person is matched to your personality and you can just randomly choose one by one. But if you want, you, every day you're given about 10 free matches per day. And when you click on one, then it takes you through this journey through the planet to find this friend of yours, this new friend on Soul, and then from there you can start kicking off your conversation with this person. But then with all social media apps, there will be scammers. So be aware of scammers. I mean, you've got cryptocurrency scammers, you've got get rich quick scheme scammers. So there are a lot of those on this uh, platform as with other platforms as well. So just be aware. But I mean, after a couple of weeks of using and meeting a lot of different people online, I finally met one person who happened to be you know, quite in sync and we had quite a lot of good conversations. Things about, you know, what's going on with, the, uh, with our jobs, with the news and uh, with the lockdown, current lockdown. It was, in a way, uh, it kind of worked for me because I found one. Apart from that, I actually found another five more friends who uh, just chit chat. I don't know their real names. I only know them based on the match of the profile, their classification of their personality, uh, but they're always there and they respond. So, in a way, yeah, the app works as advertised, somewhat. Apart from that, every day you come in, you, you get to redeem coins, which you can actually use to purchase more matches. Uh, you can also use it to purchase other things on the app. This is a paid app. To get known, you have to put perhaps updates of yourself like the sky. They give you teams from time to time like the sky or show me your pets, for instance. So I tried that for a while. It didn't quite work. So after a couple of days, I decided, you know, time to bring out the big guns. Oh yeah, it worked. So. I got a lot of good responses to cat, as usual, cats always work on the web. And from there, people started to say hi and get to know me, and that's how I got to know more friends after that. Apart from that, you can even host your own parties online where you can create a topic and hope for people to come in and join in the party at the same time. It's pretty similar to how IRC was back in the day, you know, when you create a chat room. That's really cool. 
and of course Seoul also gives uh, assignments from time to time which also helps to encourage people to use the app in a certain way and find people with mutual interest so yeah in that sense it works so what's my take on Seoul? it works just that right now at this point in time although Seoul is a global app but then majority of the users are still Chinese speaking users so chances of someone who's actually English speaking trying to look for a friend there is quite low although there are some of them maybe with time and more people actually signing up for Seoul it can actually live up to its promise of actually being a you know a platform for meeting new friends and as advertised a cure for loneliness so you know this video is in no way sponsored by them uh, just sharing my two week use with them I find it to be useful not addictive but you know as and when you feel a little down or a little lonely just pop up the app and look for a friend you don't have to be alone and that's my summary for this whole app and uh, yeah give it a try who knows you'll find a good friend that will be with you at times when you need one take care and stay safe